Um, Want to keep moving forward because I know we're, we have a lot more to cover still. <laughs> uh, and talk about dynamic SAML. This is a huge feature that we have launched. Um, and it's, it's really getting into the, the nitty gritty a little bit about SAML systems, but wanted to share this with you and, and show you kind of the level of depth that we go to in WorkOS to try to solve these really complex workflows. Okay, so SAML. So when you set up SAML, it's actually a pretty complicated process. Uh, before we built this, the way, and this is how, for what it's worth, like everyone does it today. The ITMN gets the certificate and uh, goes to something like Okta or one log into their system and has to get this X509 certificate generated. And the certificate is essentially a key that's used to encrypt the SAML payload to, to validate the SAML session. You know, you can think about it as a kind of like a secret key. Um, the thing is certificates expire. And commonly these certificates could be, you know, we've seen one year, two years, occasionally they're five years, but they always expire at some point. And it's good practice to have the certificates change, you know, because you you maybe want to roll the back end IT system for these these companies. So the certificate gets uploaded, you get connected for SAML, but then 12 months later, the certificate expires. And when the cert expires and you can no longer sign that SAML assertion, users can't sign in. <laughs> it breaks the authentication, which is obviously not what you want for these big customers. Most companies set this up, forget about it, especially if you're a fast growing startup, you just don't even think about it. And then a year later or two years later, this stuff just breaks. And, uh, and it's very, very frustrating and confusing. And you essentially have an outage for a really big organization. So we took this problem. We said, hey, what if we focused exclusively on trying to fix this for a few weeks? Like this really weird kind of edge case, but you know, still pretty, pretty serious issue that can emerge. And what we built is something we call dynamic SAML. So instead of setting it up by generating the certificate, we can do it through something called a metadata URL, um, which is mostly standardized. We've worked with a lot of different vendors and providers to get the standard format in. And that certificate is then generated through that URL. We can pull that in. And then 12 months later, when that certificate expires, we're able to renew and refresh that certificate with a future cert that expires in the future. So with this new system, um, essentially, the certificate is never fully expiring as you're always being able to get a new one. You don't have that outage. It's a much more robust integration for your customers. Um, this is what it looks like when you set it up and configure it. You put in the metadata URL, and this is something provided by IT admins that they can put in and save and configure it. Um, and the previous version, which is still available to you, is that you can set this up manually. And that includes things like the IDP URI, the IDP SSO URL, um, and the certificate here in many different formats that you could have to upload. Um, so I think this is probably most useful to switch into a demo as well. So you can see this end to end, see what the experience is actually like. So I'm going to swap over to Michael Hadley, um, who's going to walk us through it. Hi, I'm Michael, an engineer at WorkOS. Today, I'd like to tell you about the improvements we've made to the workflow for managing SAML-based SSO connections. If you've worked with SAML before, you already know that there's information that every connection requires to be correctly configured. At the least, these include the IDP entity ID, the IDP SSO URL, and the X509 certificate. Manually entering these values can be error prone as it's possible to copy and paste the wrong value, or in the case of X509 certificates, there are many file types like PEM, DER, or CER, which only adds to the confusion. Thankfully, there is a better way. There is a standard way to share this information known as the SAML metadata specification. And don't worry, we're not gonna be reading any specs today. However, we've added first-class support for SAML metadata in WorkOS, and we'd like to show that to you. So first thing we'll do is we'll create a organization in the WorkOS dashboard. We'll add our organization domain, and next we'll create a connection. So we'll be working with Azure. And after we've created the connection, you can see we have this metadata configuration section. If we open that up, there is a single input. It's asking for metadata URL. In another tab, I've already set up an application in Azure. And if we go down here to the uh, SAML sign certificate section, you can see there is this metadata URL value. So we can copy that, come back to the WorkOS dashboard and save it. And instantly our connection is configured. We extract uh, the various fields down here from the metadata so you can see them. So we have the IDP entity ID, uh, the SSO URL, uh, and we show which certificates were in the metadata. So this one had one certificate and we show the uh, expiration dates. Uh, one nice thing about using metadata URLs is that WorkOS can actually detect when a certificate is about to expire, uh, refetch the metadata from that URL 
And if there is a uh, newer certificate, replace the old one, all without requiring any intervention from you or your customers or having to ask your customers for uh, newer certificates. So uh, that's one nice benefit. Uh, so this is great if you're creating connections for your customers uh, in the dashboard, um, but it's even better if you're using Admin Portal as they can uh, perform all these steps themselves. And we've added SAML metadata support in Admin Portal as well. So let's take a look at that. So first thing I'll do is delete this connection and we'll use the handy portal setup links to initiate an Admin Portal session. And just like uh, before, we'll create an Azure connection. And I've already performed most of these steps. Um, I will need to copy it uh, over the uh, new um, SAML information here. So do that real quick and save it. And then we can continue to move through the steps. I've already mapped my attributes. And I've already assigned a user to my application. Uh, so just like in the dashboard, we get to this step where uh, we ask the IT admin for uh, just the metadata URL. So they can come back over here and we'll copy that just like before. Paste it here. And connection is configured. So let's try testing single sign-on. Yeah, it works, great. Um, they can also view uh, similar information here in the admin portal. Uh, and then one other thing I wanted to mention is that if for any reason uh, you or the IT admin uh, do not want to set up their connection using uh, metadata, we still offer the manual fallback. Uh, in particular, this might be useful for generic SAML connections where you might have a proprietary identity provider that doesn't support publishing their metadata, either through URL or XML file. Um, so we still have that. And that's SAML metadata. Uh, uh, we think it will simplify your uh, SAML uh, workflows for creating connections uh, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right, so that's the demo for the new dynamic metadata uh, setup for SAML configurations. It's super fast to configure and connect. Um, it's automatically will continue fetching new certs. And this even supports proprietary, many different proprietary SAML providers we've tested it with. Um, if none of this really <laughs> stuck with you, if it's all over your head, uh, I think the TLDR of this is like goodbye certificates. You don't have to think about certs. You don't have to be emailing back and forth these files ever. IT admins don't have to think about certs, just like no more certificates, just with the URLs, it's faster to set up and more robust. So those users that you're onboarding um, can stay customers for many years to come with no issues. So that's dynamic SAML. Um, this is Sam from Planet Scale. He's the CEO of Planet Scale. Um, they're a relatively recent WorkOS customer. And he said, when I asked the team, how is the experience with WorkOS? They were just like, this is incredible. <laughs> Some of my favorite quotes. Um, so thanks, Sam, for being a customer. We're really, really thrilled to be supporting you.